In this video, I'm going to talk about an interesting trait uh, that I found uh, correlates quite well with success in job interviews these days. And uh, um, as of recently and um, even over the years, I noticed that candidates who like to follow advice are also the ones who are significantly more likely to pass interviews. And if I may just explain uh, first the, the obvious part and then the counterintuitive side of things. So the, the obvious part is um, you are someone who likes to follow advice and someone who scores well on obedience if you, I don't know, go through a training program in full or you prepare your story bank, but not just three stories, but you prepare 10 stories and you revise them three times and then you role play them and basically you're confident around your story bank. You don't do things superficially. If you follow advice in a bit that yes, you know, it's not always that what I say is the best um, approach to, in this case, prepare the interview, but also, you know, what somebody else tells me I should take seriously and uh, do what they say, essentially. Uh, and I wouldn't have expected this, to be honest with you. I work with many uh, great people, many highly talented um, candidates, um, and uh, you know, it, 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 it came as a surprise to me that also the highly talented and high performing candidates are also the more likely to follow advice. Okay, so this was the obvious part. Okay, so it's obvious that you either you do follow advice, either you do create a story bank or you don't create a story bank. That's all, all fine. But the counterintuitive side of uh, obedience is during a job interview. Okay, so what you may not know is that... Um, what you do outside of the job interview will show in that job interview. Okay, so um, in, in other words, if you don't score well on obedience before your interview, I, will, I would have serious doubts that you will score well on obedience during that job interview. Right, and no one's going to tell you, "Hey, are you obedient?" <laughs> whether you're asking, uh, whether you're going to be obedient in your new role or not, because you know the, the answer would be obvious. But um, some interesting ways that people uh, come across as not really obedient would be if they interrupt their interviewer or if they come across as argumentative, uh, even if they come superficially prepared to a job interview. You know, because uh, you know, if it's quite simple, if they don't like you because you interrupt them or if they don't like you because um, you 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 are argumentative then it's also a, a good probability a good chance that you are not someone who's obedient enough for the role that you're getting into All right and um, i believe this obedience is something that not many people realize that it's a uh, quite an important trait for candidates especially nowadays when uh, a great number of opportunities are remote, when there isn't um, a, close, um, a close management or a close supervision in many of this role. Whereas if you even slightly come across as someone non-obedient or argumentative or you know, bossy or you know, someone who doesn't take, like taking advice, then I believe that's a, that's a red line that you're crossing in so many of, of uh, these interviews and uh, in the context of an employer-driven market, right? So um, this would be my, my main point that um, you, you would want to take obedience as a trait you want to score well in a, in a job interview. And again, in my experience, the best candidates that I work with are also the more obedient, right? Who, like, who actually do follow advice uh, for uh, for these job interviews. So I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.